So Dr. Stefan Lanka had, um, he had issued a similar sort of reward for anyone who could provide scientific proof of the alleged measles virus. And it, it had to include the diameter. And um, so what happened there was, he, he did it because he knew, again, nobody has this evidence. So um, a doctor came forward with six papers and he tried to claim the prize. I think it was, I think it was 100 million, 100,000 euros, something like that. It was a significant right. amount of money. And um, Dr. Lanka was, you know, looked at the papers. He was familiar with them and uh, saw that they're not scientific. They don't have proper controls. They don't demonstrate that there's a virus. They might, they write these things. They claim that they're studying a virus, but they don't actually demonstrate it. So they ended up going to court and um, in the lower court, it, I think a lot of these courts, it seems that they're, it's a bit of a circus. It's not really a proper court and things happen that sh wouldn't necessarily happen in the higher courts. So apparently um, the six studies were never even filed into evidence. Um, and the judge just ended up basically taking the word of a court appointed expert who had reassured him that yes, of course, the, the virus has been shown to exist. There is evidence. It's in a combination of papers. It's not in one paper. Uh, and I'll just explain. So Dr. Lanka had asked for one paper um, because you should be able to have one publication where you took some lung fluid or bodily fluid from a person and you found this particle and you purify it and characterize it.